So, you're trying to learn the Luna Blaster. You've seen how big of a threat it can be up close and want that power for yourself. Well, you're in the right place, my friend. As someone who's been using the Luna Blaster for almost a decade now, I've got you covered. Don't worry about how I've decided to use it for the other games. Just focus on the fact that I've used it. Luckily for you, the Blaster class is a pretty easy one to learn, and the Luna Blaster is no exception. If you're capable of holding the ZR button, or facing in the general direction of your opponent, and closer to them like a kid to their chaperone, then congratulations, you're already playing the Luna at least 36% correctly. But there are some other things you can do to drastically boost that percentage. The first thing is something you should be practicing before you even fire your first shot at your opponent. You see, every shot that you fire with a blaster puts you in a slight stun before you're able to fire again. So it'd be wise to not just walk straight forward in their direction, unless you'd like to make yourself an easy target. One thing that a lot of blaster users, including myself, do is strafe around to avoid being damaged in between our shots. Or even better, you can go into your ink between shots, then come out and jump to further vary your movement. The thing with jumping, though, is you gotta be feeling lucky with the Luna Blaster RNG. If you're the type to go to Vegas with 300 bucks and leave with a sweater made of tears, you can just stick to going in and out of ink between shots and disregard the jumping in the heat of the moment. But you will probably have a higher success rate than the plebeians who use range blaster or something. But Alpha! I hear your ignorant little baby voice squeal to the screen. What if I don't have enough paint around me to do that? Then why are you there? Try and get out of there. Blasters by nature aren't the most efficient inkers, nor can they fire a million shots. So, unless you're gonna get a quick silent kill from a flank and then use the ink and lack of enemy security provided by that, you should try and follow the lead of painters on your team if there isn't much of it in your area. In the event that a rapid painting weapon like a shooter or spiling discovers you, if you insist on getting that pick, it's best to throw a bond behind them so they have to get closer to you and you can take them out in just one or two blasts. Then, try and get out of there if backup is likely. And my final tip is something that you might not expect to need with a blaster. You do have to put some aim into the thing. Now, you can mostly get away with a good old two-piece if you catch them off guard, but if you really just want to incinerate them in the blink of an eye with no retaliation from them, you can get up close to them and then pop them with a direct shot. In order to maximize your directing skills with Luna, I recommend you go into the single player testing range like setting and hit as many directs as you can in drills. You can start off simple, just shooting as if there was an enemy in front of you. Then you can ramp it up by shooting dummies behind or to the side of you to mimic the feeling of someone flanking you. In conclusion, between movement, map awareness, and just a pinch of aim, you too can become a masterful Luna Blaster player. What tips do you have about the Luna? Let me know in the comments and remember to subscribe to the channel for more content on Splatoon 3 and other things gaming. Oh, and I have my own channel if you want to see some absolutely evil and hilarious ways to use platoon weapons as well. I'll see you all next time.